Your first time on the set of a big budget TV show or feature film can tighten the guts of even the most confident actor. This is the third video in a three-part video series about working on set for the very first time as a principal actor. You know what you're doing with the acting, but you might not know what you're doing on set. I'm Chris Agos, and I'm going to give you everything you need to know so that you can walk on set prepared, confident, and ready to crush it. Okay, let's back up and just review. We have assumed that you've booked a nice co-star role on an hour-long drama like Chicago PD, Chicago Med, Chicago Fire. Your role is functionary and it's designed to push the story along a little bit. It's not really like your time to shine. It's more your time to be a team player. You're allowed to be proud and enthusiastic about your work. You're allowed to be excited to be there. But just remember that for everybody else on that set, it is just another day at work. So you want to do what you can to adopt that mindset for yourself. My trick? I just look at TV shows as really big commercials. There's a camera, there's a client, there's a bunch of people standing around with jobs that have nothing to do with your job. Just don't fall into the trap of worrying about how many eyeballs are going to be witnessing your work or what this could mean for your career. Because then you're not focused on your acting. Then you're just focused on you. So at the end of your previous video, we had you on set, you had just finished up your rehearsal, the first AD just called for second team, you said hello to your stand-in, and you went off and relaxed. Once the lighting guys are happy, and the set dressing is all the way it should be in order to get the shot, the first team is going to be called to set. The first AD is going to be like, all right, first team, come on back. Second team comes out, you come back in, and it's time to do your thing. Any last minute blocking changes might be discussed. And depending on the scene, this might be the time to double check a couple of things. For example, on Chicago PD, the doorknob on Voight's office door, it doesn't open the way you'd expect. You gotta turn it to the left instead of the right. More than once, this little detail tripped me up while I was shooting a scene. So that's taught me to check any set pieces I have to interact with before I actually use them. This goes for anything you touch or interact with. You want to feel how they work and handle them a little bit before you actually use them in your scene. This will also be the time when crew members might make you aware of any weirdness or potential complications in your blocking. For example, if you're walking on a floor that's a little uneven, they'll make you aware of that just so you can be nice and safe. Chances are you're going to do one more rehearsal before you actually shoot the scene, but this is kind of dependent on the director. Some directors like to shoot the rehearsal, and in that case, you'll start shooting right away. Other times, though, you do a rehearsal without a camera rolling, and that just gets everybody in the groove, and then you start doing takes. As you do your takes, the director might have notes for you, they might have notes for the camera guys, they might have notes for the series regulars. Listen to all of them, but the ones that you really have to pay attention to are the ones that are directed at you. You just want to take them in stride and adjust as best you can. Hopefully, this is the point where everybody is happy with the writing, but that doesn't always happen. And once in a while, while we're shooting, sometimes something will just be not working for an actor, and they raise their hand and they're like, I'm sorry, can we just talk about this? You want to be really careful with that kind of scenario if that's you. If one of the series regulars has a complication, you know, they work on this show every single day, they know the director well, they're a little bit freer to bring up issues or things that they don't necessarily understand or agree with. As a co-star, that's a little harder to do. If you do have a problem with the script, if something's just not feeling right, you absolutely have the right to ask the director and get his or her input. But that shouldn't be done while you're shooting. That really should be done before. If one of the series regulars really doesn't get or agree with what's going on in the scene, that's when the fun begins. I remember one time on Chicago PD, Jason Begay, who is amazing and plays Voight on the show, we were in his office and he and I were shooting a scene. And for whatever reason, Jason just was not buying it. He thought the writing just wasn't correct in a certain spot. So the director, the script supervisor, Jason and I literally sat there and tore it apart we rewrote some stuff, and then we put it all back together, and we shot it that way. Now, we shot it as written first, just so they could say they could have it. But it was also a pretty amazing experience to tear apart some dialogue, add your own twist to it, and put it back together and shoot it the new way. Sadly, that scene ultimately got cut from the episode. But stuff like that happens, and if you're invited to take part of that process, absolutely throw your two cents in.
Now let's talk about how the scene is likely to be shot. A lot of directors will start with what's called the master shot, and that's a shot that establishes the environment and the characters in the scene. However, a lot of shows, including Chicago PD, will shoot with multiple cameras, two or three at a time. So sometimes one or two cameras are getting a master shot, and there's another camera that's a little tighter. Usually, though, they get the master shot first, and then they go in a little tighter on each character. Now, the series regulars typically get their close-ups first. However, that isn't always the case, and as a co-star, you might be in line to go first for whatever reason, so just be ready for any scenario. You'll be told when the focal length is going to change, so you'll be aware when they've pushed in and are getting your close-up. At some point, the director is going to have what he or she needs, and it's going to be over. They'll wrap that scene and they'll be on to the next. Now on Chicago PD, they were really nice, and the ADs would always be like, that's a wrap on Chris, yeah! And there's a lot of applause, especially if you're new or it's your first time there. I did over 20 episodes, and by my last episode, nobody clapped for me. <laughs> nobody cared if I was there or not. I mean, they cared, but it wasn't like, you know, when you're new, it's like, Woo! Yeah, if you've been there 20 times, they're like, see you next time. If you worked with any props, make sure you give them back to the prop master. And don't forget about your mic, which you are probably wearing. You do not want to walk off with it. Those things are expensive. Now, if you can, you want to quickly thank the director for bringing you in. You want to say your goodbyes to whoever you've met on set and do it quietly and politely and without sort of interrupting the transition to the next shot. And you want to find your PA who walked you to set or your second second AD or whoever did that. That PA is going to walk you back to your trailer where you can change out of your wardrobe. Please hang up your wardrobe. We don't want people thinking that co-stars are slobs. A lot of times hair and makeup will have wipes for you to take your makeup off if you wish. Go ahead and ask them for one of those. When you're back to being your regular civilian self, just let your second second AD know that you're done and you're headed home. She or he will sign you out and boom, you are done with your very first time on set. You are no longer a newbie. You're a veteran now. Now you know what you're doing. Isn't that cool? I'm very happy for you. All right, I know it's not for real. I know that we're just pretending here, but when this happens to you, or if it's already happened, maybe you're already booked and you're watching this video in preparation for your first day on a set. That's really cool. I am very excited for you. And if you haven't been booked yet in real life, just keep chugging along. It'll happen. And at least now you know what to expect when you do book your first job. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Hit subscribe. Do all that really cool stuff. Look me up on Facebook. Look me up on Instagram. Hit me up on Twitter. If you've got questions, I've got some answers. And if I don't have any answers, I'd be happy to make one up for you. Peace.